Hi, my name is Joseph Caprell. We're at JTech here. Uh, sitting behind me is a forklift. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do an MPI on it, uh, multi point inspection. Uh, this forklift right here is a diesel. Um, so what we're going to start here with is the uh, tires. Um, as you can tell, these are all rubber tires. There is no air that goes in these. Um, it's so that it's got stiff, so it doesn't wobble back and forth. If something falls off or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so as you can tell, you got chunks missing off the tires, and and looks that the DOT is out of date so this vehicle right here needs four new tires um, as you can tell you got smaller tires in the back than you do up in front that's so you can uh, that's the uh, for weight uh, the bigger tires are up front because of the weight is up front um, all right so first off, you got your seatbelt right here. Anytime you get on this vehicle to move it, to pick something up or anything, you always put a seatbelt on, always, at all times. If the vehicle tips over, you stay in it. This cage right here is meant to save your life. So that said, um, you got fire extinguisher missing, which that's not really good. That's OSHA would not allow that. Um, now what we're going to do next is pull the <clears throat> switch for lights. As you can tell, headlight works. Um, the wiring on it could be a little bit better. Um, the brake light works. The light, the <clears throat> hazard light works up top. And <clears throat> the switch works. So. Now, what we're gonna do is lift up <coughs> this to check <coughs> the oil real quick. So, right here is your battery, and you wanna make sure that the terminals are good, make sure they're not moving or anything like that, any corrosion building up on it, make sure that the <coughs> wires are not cracking, make sure the hold down is holding down the battery properly. Um, you need to check the oil, which that's right here. And by the looks of it, <clears throat> it is overfilled because there are two dots. One is right there and the other one is right there. So it's a little bit overfilled. Um, it's very, very dark, but that's, I mean, a diesel, diesel diesel's oil is always gonna be dark. Um, the fill of it and the viscosity of it, it's kind of low. So it really needs an oil change. Um, while you're doing an oil change, you might as well do a fuel filter. <clears throat> and while you're, uh, <clears throat> while you're doing a fuel filter, just make do an overlook, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. All right, <clears throat> so let's move on. As you can tell, seat comes off, that's not good. <laughs> this seat needs to be bolted down properly. Uh, if you come over here, you check the hydraulics, make sure everything's good, make sure that the cylinder's good, make sure there's no leaks coming out of the lines, make sure the chains are good, which the chains are kind of looking like they're rusting a little bit. They really don't have any grease on them, so that it really needs to be greased again. Um, as you can tell on this one, for the... Uh, the forks to move side to side, the, the, the lines, the, um, the hydraulic lines are missing, which the cylinder is right here, which there's no caps on this, so the cylinder really needs to be taken off too because any debris or anything like that could have gotten that cylinder now, and we don't, we want to know that until we ran a uh, hydraulic line through there, which if you hook the hydraulic line through there right now, you would possibly, if it does have debris in it, you would run it through the entire system and it could accidentally get into the hydraulic system that lifts the uh, forklift up and down. Um, while you're up front, you want to make sure that the forks have no cracks or anything like that. It's not bending. Make sure that they move properly. Make sure that they lock in place in the very back which seems to be <clears throat> 
So you keep walking around doing your multi-point, walk on this side, uh, check the same exact thing, make sure this cylinder is good, make sure there's no leaks, make sure um, everything's greased. You want to make sure that these the rollers are greased so they don't rust, get snagged on anything. Uh, make sure there's nothing in there to break the rollers. Um, <clears throat> All right, this lever right here is for the movement side to side for the forks. Then again, it will not work because it's not hooked up. This lever right here is to set the forks up and down, or look, recline it back and forth. And the third level is to raise the forks up and down. If you want to raise it way high up there, raise it way down the ground to uh, uh, put cargo on the ground. Um, this plate right here, if this plate is not here, and if you can't find this plate on your forklift, you cannot get on your forklift by OSHA rules. If this plate is not on there, you need to call whoever or OSHA to find this plate to put it on the forklift so you can actually drive it because without this, you will not be able to know the capacity of this how much this forklift can pick up. And if you accidentally pick up something or try to pick up something that's too heavy, the back of your counterweight will not be able to counterweight it and you'll be going forward and possibly flip or anything like that. And that comes into the point where your seatbelt needs to be on and you need to stay within the cage. It'll save your life. Um, while you're on this side, <clears throat> lift the hatch or the engine hood back up this side you want to check the hydraulics line which it looks like it's right on the full mark and it's clear so that's good <clears throat> your air filter is right here you would pop that off pull the air filter out check it um, while you're on this side again you would also check see if there's any oil leaks or anything like that um, your alternator's right here. You wanna check, make sure your belt's good, make sure it's good, tight, and make sure there's no cracks or anything like that. Make sure that your <clears throat> fan is good. Make sure no fans are cracked, broke, missing. And um, make sure that, <clears throat> that act, or the, uh, let's see, that's actually belt driven. So then again, you wanna make sure that the belt is actually tight on there because if it's slipping, it could possibly overheat the engine. So let's set that down. Let's come around here. This right here is your counterweight. You want to make sure that counterweight is good because then again, if it's anything's wrong, it will not be able to pick up anything. It'll, um, it'll pick up the back end of the forklift and you will be going, first you will be going forward and then possibly on either side. Um, the exhaust for the engine comes out through this way. Um, <clears throat> so when you're checking the counterweight, you want to make sure there's no big chunk missing, no cracks, no nothing. And as long as that is okay, then everything's good. Um, to come up here, what we're going to do now is sit up here. Right on this side, you got your mercy brake. So that will not allow the vehicle to move because it's applying the brakes. You got this handle right here. Right now we're in neutral, so if you go down, that'll go in reverse. If you go forward, that'll go forward. This right, this pedal right here applies the clutch and the brake. This pedal right here just applies the clutch. So you, so if you press accidentally press this uh, pedal without pressing this pedal, the vehicle will still be going forward. So be careful what you're doing. Um, if you if you want to get a load up faster or whatever, um, you just press and hold the clutch, give it a little gas, and it'll move it up and down a little bit quicker. <clears throat> uh, this pedal right here, gas to go forward or reverse. Um, this is the choke for the fuel. So right now we have it pulled out, so there's no fuel allowed to get to the engine. Push it in. You will be able to get uh, supplied to the engine. You got fuel gauge, you got temperature gauge, you got your RPM gauge. Um, so let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll do a little demonstration. Uh, 
of how the forklift works. I mean, that'd be it. So first, since this is diesel, turn the key to the left, get the glow plugs going, make sure uh, it gets the uh, block heated up a little bit. And then once you do that, you push this in for the fuel, turn it over. Pretty much it. We're in neutral right now, so the vehicle won't go anywhere. I got mercy brake on. So, let's pick this up. Kills the engine. Other than that, that's about it. Hope you learned something.